And then I saw this like holistic way of like, you can have all of these things, not just what I was taught. Oh, you're gonna, if you get this job, you're not gonna like your job, but you have money. Or you'll be broke doing what you love. Mm. But then this whole thing came together. And from then I wrote out six pages of what I wanted my life to look like. And within five years, that was my life. Welcome to Help Me Rhonda show this week, guys. Wow, I'm really pumped to have our guest here today. And oddly enough, I have someone next to me that's not normally in the seat to my left, but he is my left-hand man. <laughs> Swan is joining me today because we've got a really special guest, someone that has been part of our family's life for quite some time and is really intriguing about the ways that people are thinking, right? How... Well, that was interesting because Javen just tipped on over the... <laughs> I'm teasing. Okay, so uh, our guest today is Gavin Dantes, and I'm excited to have Gavin on the show because um, Gavin actually found you because of a film that you produced called How to Create Your Perfect Day. Mm -hmm. But see, he likes to take all the credit about the perfect day, but in reality, I was the one that actually slid it across his desk and told him to do it. And it took him like a, a year to do it, mm. didn't it? Back in 2006, 14 years ago. That's right. So, without any further ado, let's get the show started. Gavin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank um, you. We're really having excited. some fun today. Always, actually. It's a good time. Roll the highlight clip right now. <laughs> no. yeah. So, anyway, so Gavin, um, let's let's get into this because certainly we we talk about this often. You actually did find that film yeah. that Brian produced, which is called Create Your Perfect Day. Mm -hmm. Now, would you share with me what was it? What were you searching for when you found that? Not about Create Your Day. I want to know what you were doing and why you were doing it. And then let's talk about the impact that that just that exercise alone had. Mm -hmm. This is such a important piece of like my story because it was during a time in my life where I kind of had this like a near-death experience about a year before this and I started going down this new way of trying to live but I didn't have any knowledge of how to do it but I always felt something I always felt something in my heart and my gut that I would be able to figure something out mm. because I was working all of these lower paying jobs and bouncing around from thing to thing but I knew there was something more inside of me I just didn't know what and then when I found this Perfect Day video, I had someone articulate what Ooh. I was feeling for so long. Yeah. And I was searching online, like, how can I, like, travel the world and not just travel and backpack and come home broke? Travel and backpack, yeah. you know? So I, want, I needed to figure out a different way to live. And then I saw this, like, holistic way of, like, you can have all of these things, not just what I was taught. Oh, you're gonna, if you get this job, you're not going to like your job, but you have money. Or you'll be broke doing what you love. Mm. But then this whole thing came together. And from then, I wrote out six pages of what I wanted my life to look like. And within five years, that was my life. Well, that's pretty cool, though. No, I'm going to ask this. because I, I, when it's my you show. Found it, no, it's my, my show. show. I'm in the middle. Okay. All right. So when, when you found it, were you searching for something on YouTube? Or was it something yeah. somebody, in, like, do you remember what you typed in? I, I don't remember exactly what I typed in, but it was something to do with like uh, freedom or travel or online business or, you know, it was, I, I was looking for multiple things, but nothing, I was just searching. I was looking for something. Yeah. yeah. Well, cause most people I think right now, um, even now, right, they're going, what am I going to do next with my life? Well, we all go through those phases, but I think what is important is that when I shared that with you, Brian, the perfect day exercise, because it was actually, I was in the same space, right? right? I was in corporate and wanted to get out because I witnessed a woman put a baby in daycare. And I didn't want to do that to a child. So then I got this personal development program and I did this exercise. Mm -hmm. And it was like so like eye-opening because I had never actually taken the time to look at what do you want? Right? I had always been asking, what should I get? What's my goals? Exactly. But what do you want your life to look like in just your perfect day? And not like your ultimate day where you don't have to do anything, like a true perfect day. And then after I did that, you were kind of skeptical as to what I was up to. Well, I didn't do it for probably at least six months. And it was more of a, I never wrote anything down. I never wrote down any goals. It was before the law or the secret. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you kept on saying, do this, do this, listen to this. And it's like bringing a horse to the water but you can't make the horse drink yeah. so i'm i'm that horse but it was one of those crazy things when it was this big personal development uh book Ooh. and the first exercise i would never wanted to do it i looked at it so many times but 
I had the fear of what if you actually read it? I'm like, like, or what if what friends yeah. or family uh-huh. read it? And what if it didn't become true? And I'm yeah. like, I'm like, this is kind of like make believe writing out what your ideal perfect because it feels uncomfortable, yeah. doesn't it? It does, right? Like, do you remember like when you did that? Because this was a big thing for you. You were he was uncomfortable, and then of course. Once he did it, he started to open his mind. And I think that's the element that I want to talk about that is that when we actually start to think a little bit differently, then our minds start to open. And all of a sudden, oddly enough, other ideas or other doors start to open. So you were searching because you're in search of. Do you remember that moment that you actually wrote your perfect dad? Did it feel fake like you were an imposter? I, I, I'm kind of opposite to that when I was doing it. Mm. It was the first time I really felt like Oh my God, I, I think Freedom. I can actually yeah. like do something like this. It was like, um, just like an architect, they put together the blueprint, you know? And I'd never had a blueprint for what I actually wanted. It was always just like bits and pieces. I knew I wanted to travel. I knew I wanted to do things that I wanted to do, but I didn't really ever take it serious almost, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, well, how do I actually do that? How is that even possible? There's so many limiting beliefs. But when I was writing it out, there was something inside kind of saying like, I'm going to make this happen no matter what. But I don't, like, I didn't, like, have any idea how. But then it was the reverse engineering process. I was like, oh, well, I'm going to need an internet business if I need that. Oh, I'm going to. So now I actually knew what I, what skills that I could go get. And, like, again, I took yeah. your branding course after yeah. this. So yeah, I, I started just... to realize, like, what I needed to do to make it happen. Yeah, and that was, like, a big transition, too. I remember you took my course, which is pretty cool because, you know, I've been doing this for quite some time. But like you now, yeah, but you now are, um, you're the founder of a company called Limitless, where you really help people uncrack their mind or literally t- tap in. There was a video recently that I watched that you had on Instagram about following the, the white rabbit. And I have a feeling that this is really what you're talking about, these moments. Yes, so a perfect example and we can, I can break this down real quick, which is, you know, Neo represented the, the neocortex, our higher thinking mind. And when we start to go search for things, we will start to see like synchronicity, right? So yeah. he saw the white rabbit when he's going after to find truth or right. find something more, which then leads him down a path. And then he starts to align with his heart and his truth. And then he starts to wake up, right? And it's not an easy journey. I could not at all say that five years of me getting to my perfect day was easy. I had to overcome self-doubt, limiting beliefs, overcome so many challenges, get up when I was knocked down. But I had a blueprint of what I actually wanted. And yeah. it's like typing in on Google, if you type in like make money, well, maybe you're gonna end up just making money doing something you don't want. If you type in some really long tail keyword, you get a more specific result. The perfect day is like specificity and health, wealth, love, happiness, like all this congruent way of living Mm. so you can actually have all of those elements working together. It's amazing. No, I love it. And I love the parallel to this video because we were just also recently watching The Matrix, right? And it's about waking up. And I think right now, more than ever, the world deserves and needs to wake up. Because for so long, we've been trusting in what the government and what everything else is showing up Mm -hmm. for us. And there's a number of us, I think, why we live in Bali. I think we're a bit more um, self-actualized and more awoke about what's going on around us. But that video allows me to go, wait a minute. When I think about a blue car, I just keep seeing blue cars. When I think about wanting to find something, you found the perfect day, yes. right? That showed up for you. And so I think that this is also where the synchronicities will lie. And I'd like to, to go a little bit deeper on that with the work that you're doing currently. Like you've been helping people wake up and see that white rabbit, so to speak. Talk to me more about like the, the, the pathway and the methodology that you've been, you've put together when it comes to helping people come limitless, mm-hmm. because I think it's really powerful, especially right now to wake up in these times. It's, um, it's very interesting when I go into this topic because I, I have this belief that we're like born limitless, mm-hmm. right? The limitations get put on us. You know, you could do almost anything, but through the education system, we're just like kind of knocked down a bunch of pegs. And that's like our glass ceiling of what we think is possible. So then everybody else all believes that po- that is possible. So then, then they all validate what's actually possible. Yeah. And then there's a small percentage of people who break their minds free from that. And I've done such simple exercises with people, just like showing them how their memory works. How many times you hear someone say like, I don't remember names, I'm bad with names. And I'm like, you're not bad with names. You're just not sure how your memory works because you were never taught in school. We were all taught to memorize, but not 
how memory works. So then I was like, okay, the first step is going to be, well, how do we decode how our mind works? So I'm like, if we can upgrade our own software, like you upgrade your iPhone, yeah. well, then you can activate and navigate through the world a lot better. If you don't, you're always going to be lagging behind. And anyone who knows how to press your buttons with sugary foods, with certain mar is all going to press those buttons to get you to buy their stuff and get you to buy into their ideas. So they're going to have influence and you're going to just be influenced from the outside. But when you can go internally and you can hack your own mind like Neo, he is a computer hacker of his own mind. Well, now he can start to create what he wants. You know, let me uh, let me go on top of this because it's like when I was this robotics engineer before I you know, wrote out the perfect day and started le learning on personal development, started listening to podcasts and doing education. She kept on telling me to do it, but I wasn't doing it because I wasn't ready for it. And then also realizing that she's trying to do something online and if she fails, I could be the one like, oh, mm. trying to do that home thing and it yeah. doesn't work. But what I was seeing before she actually, before you actually generated any income, she was becoming a better person. Yeah. And she was in there, but I'm like, I'm like, huh. When you say you know? better person, though, this is a really big thing because I want to yeah. bring this up because what do you think was a better person? I believe and know where I was at. What I was seeing is that you were, you were expanding your mind and, and actually listening more and doing things and I'm like whoa like certain behaviors. being more aware and present yeah and I'm like wow yeah. there's something different about what she's doing she's actually she's being like a, a nicer like not that you're mean no but you're but more aware of things I, and I think uh, for me if anything if this is valid is taking more responsibility see where the, the problems lie in relationships and partnerships is that because you'd rather blame them <laughs> instead of it does it stops with you and I remember things stopping with me. I was no longer bitching at you about yes. not doing the dishes. Or I still get annoyed because I like things really tidy. Yet, I do recall being more, and I still, we're still more. We all just take total responsibility because why lay on to someone else when it's really your own deal? Yeah. yeah. You know, and here's one of the biggest things that we also installed with Hanalei from day one. And when I heard this, it was, to me, it, it, it just makes natural sense. But I remember hearing Deepak Chopra and you're like, listen to this guy. Ooh, yeah. I'm like, who is this guy, this guru? And he says, happiness is a choice. And I didn't understand. I couldn't like, yeah. I just like, what do you mean? If somebody says something to you and they say something bad, like, well, you're going to be mad. Uh, well, yeah. No, no, no. It's like, you can decide if you're going to be happy or if you're going to be mad, whatever it was. But it was that, that first time to where I actually had a choice where I'm like, well, yeah. I get to decide on where this goes yeah. further. And what happened from us, sorry to take it away from you, oh, but I'm like, sorry. I think this is really important. Like when you're first starting out was that our like, let's say arguments that would last, let's say two days mm. can get over like that because we're just making a choice. Yeah, anyway. I agree. I, I think it's powerful. And what do you, how, how, why do you think that that happens, Gavin? Because I know you work a lot with entrepreneurs and, and shifting their mindset and the way that they're thinking, right? And do you think that people believe that they do have a choice and what they can have out of life? Yeah, but it's, it's kind of like if I gave you a choice between like Coke and Pepsi and said, which one do you want to be healthy? You know, Ooh. so people are always thinking they only have this alternative of choice from other people. They don't believe they can generate their own ability to take their own responsibility. And that is so powerful. So I, I do this exercise with people where I, I ask them to say the word, let's say love, but say it in your mind without moving your mouth or then hearing anything. And they're like, we can all do that, right? It's like, well, no sound vibration left your mouth and no vibration hit your ears, but you were able to say love and hear love. It's like, what is that voice? When you close your eyes, what eyes see your future, right? What eyes are actually seeing your past? It's not these eyes. These eyes are just taking in the light. They're just taking in the information. But we can see beyond. We can uh, speak to ourselves. But most people, what's going to happen is they're going to just take in the words from everywhere else and they're going to be almost like an automaton robot yeah, right. following whatever that yeah, programming is. Yeah. This is why it's called TV programming, right? Uh, so if you're just listening to the news over and over the same thing and that's just what's inside you, now you're in fear, you're pushing that fear onto other people and everybody is in this state 
not controlling their own internal dialogue. That internal dialogue can get pulled in and you can then create that perfect day, create that reality. Now this is the reality live, you live inside. Then you get to have pure choice. This yeah. is your choice now. How do you want to live? So we can't change reality, meaning this just is. The laws of the universe are going to work that way, but we can change is the way we see reality, like you're talking about with the happiness. I started to choose, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to take that uh, learning lesson as a learning lesson, not as a failure. You know, you can either win or you can learn. And or I started you can changing. The red pill of the yeah, right? and, and then you just keep changing your perspective. And every time I would make a mistake, I would see where can I see the good in here? You know, and I'm, that's not to be delusional. You still see reality, but you, where's that seed of opportunity? Well, it's awareness, right? I mean, you were talking about choices and when you can't decide if Pepsi or Coke is better or not better because you really don't know, but when you understand what they mean, then the choices make sense. That's why I said the red and the blue pill because if I said red and blue pill now, people would go, what does that mean? Yeah. And, but if I say, well, the blue pill is where you stay hidden in this reality that is a perfect world, or the red pill is where you actually see and you understand, see you see beyond what's going on and you see truth, what do you then choose? Now that taps into our integrity or, or even in our values, right? Of what do I really want? And then you get to truly see who you are and how you make choices. And to, to me, that's why I wanted to bring the, the, the video up you did about White Rabbit and the discussion we had about the matrix, because I think we're all living right now, we are really truly aware that we're in the matrix. Yes. People are more aware now that we're in this matrix. Ever. Yeah, right now, right? Like a we're map. seeing all the stuff that's being done, all the governmental controls, all the, the forced decision making. Yeah. But those that are awake and, and, and look, guys, I mean, this is there's some realities here. Like you've got to be awoke in order to get more out of what you want out of life. And that's where the perfect day can come. You from. know, I love the philosophers. They used to say, like, the unexamined life isn't worth living. Yeah. You know, if you're just randomly being told what to do following randomly, that's not going to be a very uh, enjoyable life Fulfilling. because you can, anyone can make you sad if they want to make you sad. Yeah. Anyone can make you in fear if they want to make you in fear. And you just follow whatever it that's is. It. And that's a very unfortunate place to be. But if you can then peel back some of those layers and look inwards and look outwards, do that feedback loop. Oh, it's so yeah. amazing what you can create. I'm with you.